For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. Shocking. Sinneberg, Indonesia, volcanic eruption just happened, February 2018. Sandstorms caused the Iraqi skies to turn blood red, February 2018. How about this one? Mystery. Indonesian rivers turn blood, August 2017. Doesn't seem like a rare occurrence nowadays because Siberian river turns blood red, September 2016. Trinidad's Devil's Woodyard Mud Volcano just erupted February 2018. Are these things shocking anymore? The Bible has some 350 or more prophecies in the Old Testament that foretold the coming of Jesus. And they all came true. The Bible is foretelling us that these earthquakes, these famines, these pestilences, the hardened of hearts of men, these would all come in the end times. And so is it really shocking what we're seeing on our TV screens nowadays? Is it really a mystery? Have not the watchers been blowing the horns, warning people of these things? to the point of where people have grown apathetic, tired of listening. And even though people grew weary of hearing people prophesy about the end times, the time that we're in, God still reached out to us, showing us through his creation, groaning, dying, that we were coming to the end of an age. So many mass animal deaths. So many signs in the heavens, like the solar eclipses. But yet so many still don't listen. Something's coming. The majority of the world doesn't know what it is. They'll blame it on climate change. They'll blame it on politicians. But there's a small remnant that knows exactly what's going on. This is the war to end all wars. Time of tribulation the world has never seen. Tribulation worse than the days of Noah. Tribulation to where the remnant has to persevere in faith and endurance for just a short while. But at the end of this, our king is coming on a white horse. To judge the wicked and the righteous. When this all goes down, and we think that it's sometime soon, is it going to matter that you knew about these debunked false flags? Is it going to matter that you know the Illuminati symbolism? Is it going to matter that You've stored up all this wealth of knowledge in your head about the false paradigm and the world that we live in. Because when it does go down, and it gets as bad as we know it is going to get, I told you so's are not going to be in order. They're not going to have a place. People will be terrified, scared, seeking answers, not knowing what to do. Are you going to be the salt and the light that they need? Do you know enough to be the salt and the light? For putting on the full armor of God includes putting on the belt of truth, which is knowing scripture, being able to discern between truth and lies. And it seems like we have a insurmountable task ahead of us. But just know that God is with you. I know the reward is great, for you can have the crown of life. And so I think the time is coming short. I don't know exactly when this is all going to happen, but like I said, it is soon. 
I think God has given us enough warning to prepare physically, to sustain us for this time, so that we can be the salt and the light in these final days. At the end of this video, in the YouTube description box, I've put a link on how to be saved by Jesus Christ. Share this video with your friends and family. I hope it reaches them. I truly do. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless.